Hi guys, this is Varsha and you are watching Mastermind. So friends, in this session, we are going to discuss some of the important objective questions from the first chapter of history that is the revolt of 1857, also called the first war of independence. And friends, we will be uploading regular videos in which we will be discussing the important questions from the other chapters as well. So without wasting much of our time, let us proceed further. So friends, number one is mention any two social evils that existed in India during the 19th century. So friends, the two social evils that existed in the 19th century are sati and problems of widows as they were not permitted to remarry. Sati and the problems of widows. as they were not permitted to remarry. Number two, who prohibited the practice of Sati in 1829? So it is Lord Bentinck. Number three, who passed the Widow Remarriage Act in 1856? It is Lord Canning. Lord Canning passed the Widow Remarriage Act in 1856. Number four, what was the immediate cause of the revolt of 1857? So friends, you must be knowing this answer. The immediate cause of the revolt of 1857 was Enfield Rifle. The British government introduced the Enfield Rifle in the Bengal Army and in 1857 a rumour spread in the Bengal Army that the cartridges of the Enfield Rifle were greased with the fat of pig and cow. Number 5 is who had shown disrespect to the Mughal Emperor Badur Shah. So it is Lord Dalhousie. Next question, who was the ruler of Aud, also called Awadh? So it is Wajid Alisa. Next question, who started the policy of doctrines of lapse? So it is very important, it is Lord Dalhousie. Lord Dalhousie started the policy of doctrine of lapse. And last question, who started the policy of subsidiary alliance? So friends, this question, this answer you are going to write to us in the comment section below. Even if you are not sure with the answer, you can do a guesswork and write to us in the comment section. We will get back to you. So friends, these were some of the important objective questions from the revolt of 1857. Apart from these questions, you have to study at least 4 to 5 reasons for the political causes, economic causes, military causes and social and religious causes which are asked for 4 to 5 marks in your long question analysis. Thanks for watching this video. Please do subscribe to us and give the thumbs up button. And if you have any queries related to your board exams, then you can write to us in the comment section.